what's going on everybody this is cam and in today's print life shop management software video we're going to be talking about the production dashboard i want to make sure that you understand how to use it and the nuances of it and to demonstrate this i'm actually going to be playing two parts i'm going to be playing the part of the printer and i'm going to be playing the part of the client so you're going to see a lot more clicking around and going between tabs than you would actually experience as just the printer interacting with the client because I'm going to be doing the client interactions as well. So keep that in mind as we move forward with this thing. Uh, let's start out by going to the dashboard and explain what's happening here. So when a customer reaches out to you, what you do is you go to New Quote and you generate a quote using the Print Project Builder. If you don't know how to use the Project Builder, uh, click the link up here in the corner of this video and you'll be able to watch a, a full detail on how to use the Project Builder. So assuming you know how to do that, you've created a quote. Now once a quote is paid, either by you emailing the quote to the customer, they review it, they, they approve and pay the quote, or the customer comes in and you accept cash from them or a check or what, however you get paid. Once the quote is paid, it then converts from a quote to an invoice. And all paid invoices, whether it's a, whether they paid you a dollar, a 50% deposit, or 100%, they're going to show up here under the invoice list. Now, paid invoices also show up on the production dashboard until they reach complete status. Once they go to complete status, they disappear from the production dashboard. Okay, so first off, we just need to make sure you understand that. Quotes are in the quotes list page. Uh, once a quote receives any form of payment, it then converts to the invoice list page, and it also shows up on the production dashboard until that invoice reaches completed status. So we're going to go to proceed to payment, and there's going to be a new job order right here. So if I, if I filter out only the things that have just came in, everything that needs to be assigned, these are my two jobs. So this one, uh, I'm actually going to move this out of here because serves no purpose let's go back to the dashboard okay so now this is the one that we just did so the payment was created right it was in quote status it was here now it's gone to invoices so if we can for four nine eight three but so here's the invoice right here uh, and so now this is what we're looking at okay so it's just got paid it moved to the production dashboard now we're ready to start uh, producing this bad boy so the first thing you got to do with the production dashboard is assign your staff members if you don't know how to create staff accounts, it's right over here. You just create one staff account for your printer, one staff account for your designer. You never have to log into them again. It's, it's simple. It's just a way for you uh, to assign these things to specific people. You, you don't have to log into those accounts, so keep that in mind. But you can if, if you want to. If you want to have your printers log into those and only see what you assign to them, you can do it that way. But So we're going to hit the Assign Staff button. And we're going to select our designer, which is going to be, uh, I'm just going to use me for that. And we're going to assign it to the printer, which is going to be a testing printer. I don't want to assign this to Jesse. Okay, so we're going to assign our staff. And you're going to notice the status goes from assign to generating mockups. You see this status right here? If you click this, this is all the different statuses. And you can move manually through these if you ever need to. Uh, but now let's go back to the dashboard and see what happened. So you will notice that the colors have changed. There are no more blue. There's nothing else that needs to be assigned, but there are three jobs that still need to be mocked up. Uh, this one, it looks like, oh, we still haven't uploaded one of the mock-ups. So let's do that real quick. Let's just come in here. Let's upload a quick mock-up just so we can see what happens with that. So I'm going to upload the final mock-up. And when I close this box... We've uploaded mocks to all of the print locations, the front and the back. If we come back to the dashboard, you'll see that this one has changed to submitted. So what happens is it automatically emailed your client, letting them know that all the mockups are ready for approval. Uh, so let's go check that out. Yeah, this one went to, some, to a, a different thing. This went to another test account. So let's not pay attention to that one. But let's go into the one that we just created right here. And let's upload a mockup for this one. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah, this will work. Okay, so this one only had one location. All this stuff is here. Now let's go to the dashboard and see what chat happened. So this one also changed to submitted. So we can filter out all the mockups that have been submitted to customers, and we are waiting on approval from those customers. So it's really easy to get a quick overview on uh, what's waiting for approval. 
Okay, so now let's go back to the invoice, the email account and see. So now we have a new uh, email that got sent to the customer. If you click on it, it says a mock-up is waiting your approval. You can change all of these words in here just by going to the templates and editing them. So now the customer will come and they'll click their, their project. And you'll see a big pink button here. So there's the mock. It says click here to review and approve mocks. So the customer clicks that. Now they see a big full-size image of the mock-up. They still see all the specs, the ink colors, any finishings that you've set up. And if everything looks good, all the customer does is types their name, C-A-N, oops, E-A-R-E-N, and they click to approve mockups. If they need to submit a revision, they can submit it here. Uh, it will get sent to you, and you will be notified that there's a revision that needs to be made. You make the revision, you re-upload the mockup. Well, actually, let's do that. Let's do that first. Let's just so you see how. So they look at it, and they're like, you know what? Uh, I think I want to switch this to a left chest. Let's just, something like that, right? Uh, so let's just go switch to left chest. Okay, so the customer submits this revision. And let's see what we got. So you'll notice now, if we go to submitted, there is a notification here letting you know that, that something has changed. So if we click on the invoice number to view it, uh, you look over here on front revision request, and it shows you switch to left chest. Okay, so what we would do is go back through, ad make adjustments to our separations, and then take that separation file and uh, superimpose it on a mock-up. And then we would come back in here, and we would re-upload. Click right here, and you're going to re-upload the new mock-up. In this case, I'm not going to do that, but let's just pick a different uh, T-shirt graphic. I'm just going to pick this one to re-upload. Then what you need to do to actually initiate the email is you need to reply to this. So you're just going to come in here and reply and says, mock-up revision made please review and approve mock to move forward and then you hit send now they'll, they'll get an email letting them know that a comment has been posted so they'll view their print project and they'll see that the revision has been made to the thing so now they're going to click here to approve it and now they're going to type their name everything looks good now so they're going to go and they're going to click to approve mockups. Okay. Now at any time, like you can see what they did. They paid two hundred and fifty dollars, so it always tells them what their balance, the balance due is. So at any time, they can go to proceed to checkout to pay that remaining balance as well. And they always want to do that before you ship them. You want to make sure you've got full payment before shipment has been made. Let's go back to our dashboard and see what's happened. So. Now the only one that's waiting on is this. So that one that we were just working on, the client approved it. So now it's moved into the order queue. Now the order queue is cool because it just lets you know what things still need to be ordered. So what you do is you're just going to go through and manually order these. So you'll come into this first invoice and you'll see you need to order 34 smalls. So you'll go to Sanmar or well at wherever, place that order. And then here on the invoice status, you're just going to switch it from uh, order to garments ordered. And you're going to come back to the dashboard, and you're going to do that with the next one. What's, what's next in the order queue? This one. So we're going to come in here. We need to order 12 extra smalls, 18 smalls in this color, or actually technically in this color. And then you're just going to switch this once you've made all the orders, and you're going to go garments ordered. So now on the dashboard, we're just waiting. Anything in yellow means you're waiting for it to arrive so that you can count it in. Now, when the garments arrive, let's just say that the garments for this order have arrived. You get in there, you count them, make sure you got everything, compare it to, to your list right here, and then you just hit Garments Arrived. And once the garments have arrived, you as the printer can see everything that needs to be produced. So this job needs to be produced, and this job right here needs to be produced. So your printers can start producing it. And when the the job is produced and ready to go, all you're going to do is, you can either, if you're shipping it, you can create labels. Uh, but but if they're coming to pick up locally, just once they come, you're going to come in here, and then now you're just going to move this over to a, this to local pickup from print production, like it was here, and you go right here. It emails the customer and lets them know that it's ready for pickup. So if we come back here again into the inbox, you'll see it, you see now that it, now they got an email saying, hey, your order's ready for pickup. If we're shipping them to you, then they're on the way. Uh, they can view it again, but now they know to come pick them up. If you come to the dashboard... Now you can see that this is in the shipping thing. And if it's yellow, it means it needs to be, it's being picked up. And if it's blue, it's being shipped, which means you created labels right here. 
if you create labels, it'll go to that to uh, the blue status. So you know what needs to be shipped and what needs to be picked up. Customer comes in. Now is when you would actually take payment. But we already did that. But you would take the payment. And then once you've gotten payment and everything's good to go, then you just move this to complete status. And if you go to the dashboard, the job has now moved off. So now you're on to the next one. And you tackle this one. And you tackle this one. It's just a flow. It's really easy to keep track of everything in this system. And, of course, it's still in the invoices here. Everything is, um, you can see everything, what the statuses are from right here. You can see what's complete, all that good stuff. It's, it's really nice. You can see everything that's been done. Which one were we working on? Was it 4942? Yeah, I think it was this one. So there you go. That's how the production dashboard works. Now, just to be clear, if at any time, like let's say right now, you're, you're kind of like, let's just say you've ordered the garments, right? And then the customer calls you at the last minute and like, dude, we need to change something. Can you remock it up? Blah, blah, blah. Then you can go, yep. And you just come over to here. You're going to go back to generate mock-ups. You're going to switch it to that status. You're going to re-upload the new mock-up. Uh, use the same image that we had earlier. Okay. And you're going to close. Once it's uploaded, you just close this window. You're going to come in here to messages. You're going to hit reply. New mock uploaded, please review and approve, right? And then you're going to send that off. The customer will get notified. They'll go in. They'll approve it. Uh, and then it'll go to um, uh, it'll go to the order queue, and then you can just come and move it into uh, back into print production or whatever. So you can move you can move the statuses around as you need to. But if you need to get a new mock-up approval, you're going to go to generate mock-ups. Uh, if you need to reassign it to a new printer, you would come to assign. If you needed to, uh, if you if you needed to switch from local pickup and you needed to uh, create shipping labels, you would move it to print production, and then you have the option to create print uh, pr shipping labels. Uh, I think that that's pretty much it, man. I'm trying to think of any other nuances that confuse people. Uh, yeah, at any time you can click the client's name to go to the client's account. You can also from anywhere, from wherever, you can go to clients and you can search clients' names. And then you can click on their name and that will also take you to the customer's account. Uh, this is where, in here, this is where you edit like the billing addresses. You manage addresses here, basically. You can add a, add a new address, create a new one, and then, uh, and then you come in here and you can assign which, which address you're using for billing and which one for shipping. Uh, this shows the user information. You can edit all that right here. You can update emails, phone numbers, whatever. You Basically, any client detail you update right here from this edit menu. You can also apply just a running discount. So let's say you have a really good customer. Uh, and it's and instead of like readjusting and creating entirely new matrices for them, you could just say uh, apply a 5% running discount to this client account. And then now any any quote that you generate for that customer will automatically get a 5% discount applied to the to, to the invoice total. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Remember, if you have any other questions or if, if you have a, if you're not clear on something, click this question mark right up here. It'll take you to our ever growing knowledge base. So I've just started working on this, but you can come to the knowledge base right here and you can see all the different items I've created so far for getting started. Uh, you can also see just general software questions right here, like sales tax setup, adding fees. So you can use this, and it's growing every day. I'm trying to add more and more to it all the time with these videos. So use that. You can also just search things like um, like you can just search for sales tax, and it'll show you a sales tax walkthrough. You can come in here, and then there's a nice little video showing you how to set that up. So make sure to use this. Uh, I think that that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you understand how to use the production dashboard. If you need more f clarification, let me know in the comments, and I'll go into more nuanced details of certain things if you need it. Take care.